we have studied standing waves on a string and the standing waves in an organ pipe with both ends open and the standing waves in organ pipes with one end closed. For a string, both ends are fixed, so we have node, node on each end. For a pipe, if the ends are open, that means the air molecules can move in and out. That means that we have anti-node on each side. And for organ pipe that's closed at one end, in the, at the closed end, air molecules cannot move in and out. That means uh, over here we have to have node, and on the open end we have anti-node. So if we draw standing waves that will fit into these pipes, they look like these. For these ones, I have to have anti-node, anti-node. For these ones, I have to have nodes and anti-node. If I want to relate the length of the pipe L to the fundamental frequency, I can start with the, in this length L, there is one loop. And the one loop is always the half a wavelength. So this can relate the wavelength to the length of the pipe. And then we have speed equals to frequency times the wavelength. If this is 20 degrees Celsius air, then we know the speed is 343. So with these two equations combined, we can relate the fundamental frequency to the length of the pipe. Because the number of loops fit into the pipe changes by a factor of 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is fundamental frequency. This will be the fundamental frequency times 2 times 3 times 4. For symmetric situations, uh, whether it's a string or a pipe, we can hear all of the harmonics. For the pipe with the one end closed, we can start with the L. In this length L, there is a half a loop. That means uh, one loop can be replaced with half a wavelength. So the length of L equals to one-fourth lambda. And then we can write V equals to frequency times the wavelength. So combining these two, we'll get the relationship between the fundamental frequency and the length of the pipe. Because the number of loops we can fit into the pipe is one-half, three-halves, five halves and seven halves. It's a factor of one, three, five, seven. So this is fundamental frequency. This is the fundamental frequency times three, times five, times seven, which means that for a asymmetric case with one end closed, we can only hear the odd number of harmonics, no even number harmonics.